Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Nice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a what is on my iPhone. I just got a new iPhone, so I thought that this would be a really good video to do. So this is my iPhone. I have the iPhone 8 Plus in silver, and this is just what it looks like. It's so pretty. The case I have for it is this wildflower case that just looks like this. This is what it looks like when it's on my phone. I'm scooting over to the side because I'm going to insert my screen up here. Also, don't mind the fact that my phone's like... I like 15%. This is the lock screen on my phone. It's the same for the home screen too. It's basically just like this galaxy thing I found on Pinterest. And then when you first open my phone, I have like all the basic apps that everybody has. I have FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, maps, clocks, weather, wallet, notes, reminders, news, iTunes store, app store, books, TV, health. And then I have this tab called extras. In here, I keep the compass, voice memos, contacts, find friends, find iPhone, calculator, measure, and settings. On my dock, I have the calling app, and then I also have Safari, my messages, and music. So then when you swipe over, this is where I have all my fun apps. I have YouTube, which... You guys are watching now, you definitely should hit the subscribe button. Right now, I have 10,616 subscribers. And then I have Flow. Then I have Pinterest. And this is basically where I find like a lot of inspiration for everything, like makeup looks I do, um, workouts, foods, makeup, wallpapers. This is basically where I find everything. And then, a plus mobile right now my bank account isn't set up because I forgot the password so I kind of need to go to the bank to get that but I want to keep the app on my phone because I do want to get like have access to my account on my phone then I have my snapchat yeah I don't give out my snapchat just because I like to keep my snapchat private I don't know if I am I I'm debating giving out my Snapchat just because now on Snapchat you can make a public story or a private story. Then I have Instagram and you guys can follow me on this. My Instagram is always Anise underscore and this is just basically what it looks like. Follow me on here. Then I have Twitter. Um, I don't give up my Twitter anymore just because I don't really use it anymore. Um, yeah, I don't really use Twitter anymore. I don't really follow that many people either. So, then I have my Gmail, which is just email. I have Famebit, which is basically, Famebit is, ooh, it's kind of like a sponsorship thing. You can get paid sponsors on there. I've never actually gotten a sponsor on there. Then I have Octically. This is low-key where I get all my sponsorships for, for, where I get them all from. <laughs> um, so basically, they... A bunch of brands will upload products that they want to be sponsored and all you have to do is tap the product and then hit order now and tell them why you need the pro like why you should get the product and then it'll give you rules and you just hit send my order and then if you get accepted the brand will send it to you and all you have to do is mention it in a video I then have eBay I used to use this heavy oh my goodness I used to use eBay so heavy don't anymore uh yeah it's ebay i have amazon which is just another shopping app don't know why i clicked on it wish which i used to use that heavy too but wish just takes too long to get to me from anywhere from like two months like a month to two months and sometimes the products aren't good i have aliexpress which i use this a lot um, I've had better experiences on AliExpress than I have on Wish, but they're basically like the same concept. Yeah. And then I have Ulta Beauty makeup, you know, the use to what it looks like. And then I have Sephora, which is basically almost the same thing, just different brands on here. So that's why it's important to have both, because they have different brands. 
Then I have Dote, and I know Dote is kind of canceled. Then I have My Plate, which just helps me track my calories, like how much I intake. Then I have Uber Eats, which <laughs> basically I just had a really bad experience with them, and I'm not happy. Then I have My Water, basically to track your water, because I'm not really good at keeping up with drinking water, and I'm severely dehydrated. Then I have Piggy Bank, which this basically just lets you um, set goals for things you want to buy. And then I have the McDonald's app, which is my favorite app ever because you can get like coupons and stuff. Hold on. You can get coupons and stuff. Like, and a lot of times it's like $1 large fries or buy one large fry, get one free. So now these next few apps um, are kind of like school and games-ish. So I have Classroom, which for my school we use a lot, Google Classroom. Um, basically, teachers will just put all your classes on here and they will upload assignments. I have Google Slides, I kept that, Google Docs, because there's no point in deleting them and re-downloading them. No point. Then I have MathAway, which this is just because the iPhone calculator doesn't have like all the stuff that a regular calculator has, you know, like a regular advanced calculator. So basically I can type in problems, like I can type in fractions, and then I can type in radicals and stuff like that. Then I have photo math. <laughs> I don't use this too often. I have Google AdSense, which is basically just my money and how much I make. And I have YouTube Studio, where I can track my watch times, my views, how much I've made, and my subscribers change. I can also reply to comments on here way quicker and easily. Then I have sub count, and sub count is um, sub count, and it just tells me live time how many subs I have. I have iMovie. I don't really use that, but I just keep it on here just in case I want to. And then I have Netflix, which I don't really use Netflix too much. Um, I have the Bible. I have Etsy, and then I have Run Run Race 3D. Oh, I'm a little bit behind. And then I have Train Taxi, which I'll show you guys that one. It's just like, you try to pick up all the people without hitting the other parts of your train. And I'm not gonna actually play this one, but you can see, you just pick up all these people without hitting the other part of the train. I have Poly Spear, which you just move it around. So you just basically move it around until you can get it. And then I have Aqua Park, which is like a little slide thing. So yeah, you just knock people off and you try to be the first one in the pool. Then I have Sudoku. Sudoku? Is it Sudoku or Sudoku? Yeah. And I have Love Island. I actually don't know why I have that. Like, it's low-key kind of whack. My little cousin was playing it and I wanted to play it too. And can I tell you, that stuff was whack. So yeah, basically that completes my what's on my iPhone. That's basically all that's on my iPhone as of right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.